said, would you guys rather extend Logan Wilson at three years, 12 million, or Akeem Davis Gaither at three years, seven mil, or both? I choose Logan Wilson. For me, I'd choose Logan Wilson. Yeah. 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 I mean, you're you're paying five mil more and, you know, almost what, like 40 percent more. But also we know Logan's kind of a, a known quantity yeah. versus ADG is a lot of, you know, kind of upside and potential. And you're just not certain of what you've got right there. I also to touch on this. I don't think that what we project Logan Wilson to get is actually what he might get, because I think that the linebacking market is going to dictate what he might yeah. get. It was really suppressed this year. It yeah. was tough. And I think, but I, I think that you have people like. Corey Littleton, mm -hmm. you have people like uh, what's his name, uh, Nick Blake Col Martinez, Blake Martinez, Nick Kowalski, uh, whatever the, the Raiders, uh, yeah. from the Raiders. Kowalski. You have them to thank for why line the mm -hmm. linebacker market is suppressed. People were paying yeah. off-ball linebackers so oh, much man. money, a ridiculous amount of and money in free agency. In every single person's and it, face, and, it and nobody, it didn't, work, it didn't pan out for anybody. None of them right. saw the life of that contract. They all got cut. Right. So yeah. I think when you look at it, it's like nobody's going to go out there and pay an off-ball linebacker. It sucks, right? But the fact of the matter is, unless you're actually an edge rusher or a defensive tackle or a cornerback or uh, a true game changer potential, um, you know, they're not going to go out there. Now, if Logan Wilson goes out there and he winds up having 10 interceptions this year, <laughs> we might be talking. We might be talking. Yeah. Somebody might be willing to throw buku money at him. But the fact yeah. of the matter is, uh, I think that the linebacking market is going to dictate the true value of what Logan Wilson might, uh, might or might not get. And the fact of the matter is, I think Logan Wilson might actually – uh, wind up having to settle for for we we listen. He's worth a lot to us. He's we see yes. him as the captain, the sheriff of our defense. But the fact of the matter is, it's all going to come down to what um, it's going to come down to to what what yeah. the what the linebacker market says. And that's kind of how they ended up with Jermaine Pratt still. No one Literally. really saw that coming, and that so. was huge. Continuity yeah. is so huge. Listen, it, it's funny when you again when we talk about the Cincinnati Bengals, you fall back into a situation in which you're back with your coaching staff, defense coordinators still here, yeah. offense coordinators still here, Dan Pitcher is still here, yeah. right? Now you got your linebackers back. They're all mm -hmm. still here. So it, it's it, continuity is so important in professional sports, but it's especially important in the game of football. You got the same crew. You're running back with the same crew. Because I think by all accounts, everybody expected Jermaine Pratt to leave. Everybody, yeah. even Jermaine Pratt, thought he was not yeah. going to be back in Cincinnati uh, with all his cryptic tweets and whatnot. Um, but you know what? The linebacker market said, hey, you know what? Hey, you might have an offer from here, the, you know, from, from this team and that team for a million more. Is it worth moving away? Probably. Comparatively speaking, too, yeah. I think him being kind of like the the heart of the middle of that defense mm -hmm. and kind of having the trust of that coaching staff very early on as being a smart player. Um, and when you look comparatively at the other contracts, you've got Foyasad Aluakin uh, for mm -hmm. the Jaguars mm -hmm. making 15 million a year, Jerome Baker for the Dolphins making 12 and a half, Matt Milano, who is he 29, 30 now? Is he, is he, yeah. he's getting yeah. older yeah he's at 14 million so i mean and he came when, back right yeah, yeah when you look at these contracts you know if you're getting him at 12 million i, I think you're in a pretty good spot yeah, i agree so he's I, worth I don't it think too. that's an overpay he, he's worth it too man for sure yeah Come on, show us out.